Lucas is a strong word today. A shilling over the odds, maybe. You must be bleeding joking. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kinda remember her name? What I heard. Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. One mouth only its washing.
very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Lasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Amanita Muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice.
The vorpal blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. <laughs> 